need to ask you several questions. Uh, so first, uh, why did you decide to become a seaman? Uh, yeah, that question is, like I say, rather common, but normally uh, when someone asks me, like, why did I become a seafarer, then probably I could really honestly say it's about, it's about money, more mm -hmm. on, like money, because you see in the Philippines, like, um, these land-based jobs are normally a bit, say, lower, but normally if it's, it's enough, but if you say you're planning to have something like like a house or your own car then normally a land-based job is not enough so a seafaring job are like quite say um, um like like a dream like some some sort of like a dream that, yes, yes like that not exactly the dream like so like a stepping stone something like that. yeah but that it's mostly like uh, okay, this is your second contract, uh, as far as I understand, am yeah. I right? Yeah. Uh, Tell me about your first one, about your first, let's say, feelings, expectations, and uh, did yeah. those expectations were met? Uh, my first first experience was, it was mostly Asia, our route was Asia, and at that time, what should I say, um, I think I did not really expect something something that good because let's say in in school or in the training center they they always tell us that um, when you come on board it's not something like you say all girls as they yes. thought <laughs> girls and something like that it's not exactly that good even if you say uh, they say that they say that seafarers always have money with them or something like that I don't even have money with me right now something like that so I think uh, I just went well exactly to what to what I heard if but if you would ask me if it was difficult or like that it is it is like yes let's say is, let's say if it was it difficult yeah <laughs> it was difficult like it was more the job itself it's difficult it's normal it's I would say it's normally difficult but you say the interaction with people, especially for me as cadet, and I don't know if uh, everyone already knows this or something like that. But normally, if you're a cadet, you're like the lowest person there, and they will treat you like some some sort of like. That's true. I don't know, like it's there. Like they will treat you like the, uh, you know, not not really without respect. They respect you in some kind, but you are the smallest person in there. They just. Uh, tell you what to do and you do that exactly just like that at, but at the same time they will expect you that you will do it perfectly because I, I mean like more, more most likely especially for us as, as program because they expect us that us program already knows a lot of things but in reality we just know <laughs> yes we just know <laughs> by in theory paper. yeah we just know things by paper by you know by by what we read but but why it's started to us, but in actual, it's difficult, it's different. So yeah, in summary, my experience in my first vessel was, um, I don't know, average? Maybe that it's not exactly good. I From think. tough to average, yeah? Yeah. But this one for you is a better one? Yeah, a bit better one, experience. because most likely I already have a bit more experience compared to the first one, so I already know how to adjust, like, in a way, and as well as you know, maybe, maybe yeah, it's just a sort of adjustment actually. It's not really something you can say uh, harsh or something. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, okay. Uh, have you ever felt a seasick during the voyages, and how do you deal with them? Yeah, uh, seasick. If uh, maybe like it's it's one thing that I like. That's one of my first problem during my cadet cadet, cadet peers days, but now if it's not really that that strong rolling, like I don't know, maybe thirty degrees and more, then I didn't. I think I'll be fine. But if you say just a small rolling, yeah, I think I think it'll be I'll be good. Something. You're okay. Yeah, you're yeah. okay. For that. Okay. Uh, so. Tell us about your usual working day at sea. Uh, usual working day, though, from my first and up to this experience, normally we start at 6, 
six in the morning and normally for me as a cadet and the noise normally I just start with cleaning inside accommodation and then outside it's normally just chipping uh chipping and painting mm, what's what actually that's 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 most of it by by the day then at night uh, maybe after work or something like that after we take our dinner mm -hmm. um, normally I find something to do at my at my cabin like if not watch movie I also finish this uh, our projects normally but it's, it's not really exactly that very hard but let's say this is a normal work day at yeah. sea but when for example at uh, in port that could yeah, be a difference that's uh, maybe that's uh, that's what make things a little bit more complicated because normally at sea or at sea uh, if it's just a normal voyage something like today but this day was this week where we will just have a routine but if in port the the work the, the rest hours are completely messed up like you will wake up at this time three o'clock in the morning because you will be arriving like that and that that times are you know i could also say hard but if you get used to it i think you can just manage somehow good man oh, that's true how do you spend your free time as i told you you watch movies yeah uh normally just free time watch movies and normally like in the first if after after six in the afternoon at, like at the first hours of that i'll try to do something like watch movie and at the rest of that uh like an hour or more i spend it like doing doing mostly more pro projects because some of it are quite a bit complicated but yeah i can still manage to so i, I think that's that's most of it maybe if we had internet like in port then i can just do i don't know facebook or something like that chat with my family the moments that you like on board the ship let's say which give you the most pleasure and the most moments which you dislike the most uh -huh. um if i say uh the moments that i can say i like on board is maybe when um, I think it's during my first, let's say my first voyages during make a dead, make a dead ship. I could say that just seeing seeing the port, seeing the land is actually quite uh, satisfying for me. Like we have been on on sea for a few days, weeks. Then if you could already see the land, the port, it's like like you feel is the satisfaction that you arrived, you you were there. Then through time you will realize that um that that's like the very good thing about being on board like you're here and you were able to arrive and honestly just that just by that it's quite satisfying for me mm, i see mm. uh, things maybe you dislike the most yeah um dislike um honestly if i don't know i cannot really specify but you could say maybe like the loneliness on board something like that if though that one is some sort of uh, general but like if i could uh i say specify a bit more something yeah specifying yeah more specific maybe if boson tell you some ah this is not nice this is uh yeah if i could trace that trace back to my cadet ship days yes i, I remember something like that with my uh, previous boss on where, where he will really tell you like uh, you know harsh words especially for you cadet that I mean you do not exactly know everything but they assume it that you know then they will get angry to you that they will really tell, tell you mean words then that I mean anyone wouldn't be happy with that okay uh, now the last question uh, based on your let's say already Two years experience yeah more or less more or less two years experience what will you suggest to all new coming to maritime industry yeah what can you suggest uh -huh. all new um though uh though what i said said earlier wasn't ex 
exactly exciting as what probably you expect as well as I am because normally they 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 tell to you that seafarers seafaring are good like uh with big money with I don't know a lot of girls then you can go out anywhere in the world I mean honestly it's not exactly like that yet at the same time if you really get get into it being a seafarer there's a uh, like a big part of like there's a part of it that's actually satisfying just like what I said earlier where we arrive on port and that that uh, just with that it's actually quite satisfying for me and that's why what I what I could say to um, to new safe new seafarers or these yes. upcoming seafarers is that I think if if they if they really wanted to if they had a dream for themselves like um, if not just uh, not just about without money uh, just about supporting family and like that seafaring is actually good good enough um, good uh, it's a good I don't know a stepping stone for everyone so as long as they put their expectations to the um, I don't know they just don't expect something too grand when they come here on board like they expect that everything is good here actually no uh, in real life it's not good at all <laughs> like, <laughs> that's true yeah but yeah that's what I said it's actually quite satisfying as well.